are you ready to watch the king's indian or the indian's king hello everyone and welcome back so what can i tell you about the indian's king so Vishi Anand is a former world chess champion holding the title five times between 2000 and 2013. Anand became Indian's first grandmaster in 1988 and is widely credited with popularity chess in the country. You know, he's also known for being really humble and incredible nice person, a true walking chess legend personally speaking i saw him several times in real life tournaments and i wish him all the best health happiness and success and in this game he played against a very strong player grandmaster from armenia levon aronian and it was played so much years ago 11 years ago in the slav defense so it will be very interesting for us also in the opening perspective but also of course in just unbelievable performance so it was tournament uh, wake and z and tata steel a so let's see the beginning d4 aronian played d5 c4 c6 as we already learned the slav defense knight f3 knight f6 knight c3 and now e6 of course here there are several options for why to play for example i don't know g3 bishop g5 bishop f4 e3 the slav of course queen c2 maybe c takes d5 but aronian played the move e3 knight bd7 and now bishop to d3 it calls uh, you know the semi-slav defense and now after bishop to d3 black is waiting uh, for the bishop is coming out and he will play the move d takes c4 after bishop takes black is playing the move b5 and bishop d3 and now bishop to d6 you know also one option here is to play bishop b7 but here white has an option to play e4 and this is a little bit you know annoying for black because there is some theory here after b4 knight a4 c5 e5 knight d5 takes on c5 knight takes d takes bishop takes bishop b5 check king f8 this is what i remember uh, but it's fine for black it seems like these knights are this knight here is doing just incredible job and these bishops also queen b6 rook d8 maybe something around h6 g6 king g7 and everything is totally okay here for black so th th there are several options there uh, some theory to learn but i also prefer like anand played the move bishop to d6 the point here here of course that after e4 the the move for black is to play e5 and of course here is a just interesting position just castle castle uh, bishop b7 afterwards and yeah of course also nice position to play but let's see what happened in the game because it was much interesting so castle and castle and now queen to c2 so now for example if i'm playing the move a6 it's very bad because knight e4 and as you can see there is a double attack also on the bishop on d6 and also the pawn on c6 right with the queen so after knight takes c4 for example bishop takes and double attack here and the position is really bad here so of course after queen c2 a6 is not a good move and he played the move bishop to b7 for example now after knight e4 just take it bishop takes and f5 if i'm uh, remember correctly because now after bishop takes e6 we have just rook c8 and winning the game absolutely right because of this pin and if he's playing the move bishop to d3, I think c5 immediately also good, but also a6 makes for me a lot of sense because c5 is the next move. And as you can see, this diagonal, this diagonal, the queen is coming, rook maybe, so very, very difficult for white to play. It seems like black is just better here. So after bishop b7, uh, Levon Oronian played the move a3. Also very interesting move because, you know, Black's plan is just to push a6 with c5 and white is of course understanding it and wants to play the move b4 to avoid c5 and if he managed to avoid c5 this bishop will be very weak 
on b7. So a3 was played and now rook to c8. Anand is playing, okay, you know what, I'm just bringing the rook, everything is fine, everything is under control, and I'm just developing our pieces. So, for example, after, uh, yeah, knight g5 was uh, the move in the game, but after b4, of course, just, I think, a5 makes a lot of sense, but also very, very interesting move here is to play c5. No way, because these two pawns are here, but you're not afraid because b takes c5, we have like bishop takes f3, this is the point. After g takes f3, just knight takes c5, with d takes c5, rook c5, with a very interesting initiative here, with queen c7, rook c8, bishop e5, bishop h2, rook h5, rook g5, it's so interesting to see this position. Uh, so b4 is... Is interesting choice by white, but but of course uh, not so um, you know dangerous. Of course, so rook c8 was played, and now Aurelian played the move knight to g5, and here you know the stress is coming. C5, opening the bishop, as you can see. Oh, sorry, this is not that the diagonal. This uh, diagonal, of course, is open, and also this file for the rook and. What, you know, black is claiming that, oh, this is pawn, I don't need it. For example, knight takes b5, just losing after bishop takes, king takes, knight g4, king g1, also c takes d4 with tempo, right? And the next move, queen g5, and this king is just awful here, we checkmate very soon, I think. So, of course, knight b5 is not a move, um, so we play the move, knight takes h7. And this was a little bit mistake. The best move here was to play bishop takes h7. Of course, you will not take it, right? King h8. And now to play the move f4. And there is some theory here, of course, after g6. Bishop takes g6, f takes g6, queen takes uh, g6, and now queen e8, queen h6, king g8. And, you know, it's also not so um, easy to understand what is going on here, but... Overall, black is totally fine here with a piece up, right? For example, knight takes b5, bishop b8, I don't know, knight c3, maybe, maybe bishop d2. So, for this piece, white has like four pawns, right? So, it's, yeah, it's interesting, of course. But, Aurelian played the move knight takes h7, and now it's just coming very, very sharp. Knight to g4, the first brilliant move by Vichy Anand. So the point is, of course, after knight takes f8, just bishop takes h2, king h1, and queen h4, we checkmate in a spot, right? So just winning absolutely, because bishop g3, bishop f4, bishop going everywhere here with queen h2, checkmate. So after knight g4, of course, the move was f4 by Aronian, just claiming that, you know what, I understand this um, diagonal is very scary for me, I'm just blocking it for you. So c takes d4. Another very strong move, just opening this file, and after knight takes f8, probably, you know, like, just bishop takes f8, and, okay, I will show you very, very soon what is going on here, but he played the move e takes d4. And now, you know, just fantastic move by black here. Uh, you can stop the video and think by yourself, but of course, I must admit, it's just unbelievable. The move here, bishop to c5. What is this move? Whoo! No way. So, let's understand uh, together. Uh, if he's playing the move knight takes f8, uh, just bishop takes d4, king h2, a, a king h1, of course, and queen h4. And the point is, the g3 is, of course, not illegal, right? So, h3, just queen takes h3, checkmate, right? G takes h3 is not illegal because of this pin. So, of course, knight f8 is really bad. Um, so, d takes c5, right? This is the only choice, but knight takes c5. And here, after knight takes f8, you are playing the move knight takes d3 with a very strong at attack, you know, here, queen d4, queen h4, and this knight is under attack, and this, you know, diagonal is just amazing for black. So, for example, h3, queen d4 check, king h1, knight df2, uh, you know, he, he must take it with rook, because king g1, I don't know, it seems like, yeah, knight e4, yeah, knight e4, yeah, king h1, knight g3 checkmate. So, yeah, he just must take it, right? Knight takes, I don't know, king h2, and just knight d3, with uh, taking the rook with the king, or with the rook, so, really great position here. 
So, um, after bishop c5, Aronian played the move bishop to e2. And yeah, it's it's very interesting because he's understanding that this knight on g4 is very strong and active piece. After bishop takes d4, king h1, and here I'm not sure because queen h4 just bishop takes g4, right? So checkmate will not be here. So it's it's interesting move uh, and choice by Levon Oronian, but he missed a very strong and active move here from the black pieces. Knight d e5! Can you believe it? Another brilliant move! What is this incredible idea by Vichy Anand, the king, the legend of India? So the point here is that after f takes e5, just queen takes d4, king h1 and queen g1 check. Rook takes knight f2. We are sacrificing a queen and putting checkmate on the board. So yeah, knight d5, what an amazing move. After d takes c5, just queen d4 check, king h1, and now knight f2 check. Rook takes, queen takes, and yeah, this is game over, right? Bishop takes, queen takes, queen e1, so much mate ideas here. And of course, after king g1, just knight h3 check, king h1, another sacrifice. Rook takes, and knight f2 check, mate, just beautiful, right? So uh, he played the move after knight d5, he played the move bishop takes g4, bishop takes d4 check, king h1, knight takes g4, of course now queen h4 is the threat with checkmate, so he played knight f8, but f5, what an incredible move, because after queen h4, there is a very, very tempting move, queen h7 check, oh, I will not get the checkmate, right? So take, take, I don't know, king takes, also fine position for black, but not winning at all, because white has an exchange up. So knight f8, f5, another just unbelievable move. Crazy how Anand is playing here with such an amazing pieces, right? Just amazing, right? Rook, bishop, knight, bishop, and the queen is coming. So just winning absolutely. Knight g6, just to avoid this queen h4, just queen f6. And here, h3 was played, queen takes g6, queen e2, and queen h5, and yeah, that's it, right? Queen d3 was played, bishop e3, and now, Levoronian resigned game. So, the point here, of course, after bishop takes e3, queen h3 check, king g1, with queen g2 or queen h2 checkmate on the board. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was just fantastic game by the Indians king. Vichy Anand. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe my channel for more chess content. Thank you very much.